Hey guys, it's me, Alice Squonker, and today I have my May Owl Crate. I will be <laughs> leaving for Georgia today when I'm filming this. And this is also the day after I came back from my Austria trip. And if you have not seen my Austria trip um, vlog, it's, it will be somewhere over here. So you can go and check it out. So without further ado, let's get into this. And so, yeah. Ooh, ooh, okay. Um, so the month theme is Fight Like a Girl. And I think I know what the book is gonna be for this. And what are you? Oh, it's a hanging poster. That's so cute. I, I, should I take it out? I'm gonna take it out. Here it is. It's about the size of my face, so we're all good. And it says, remember that you are a wolf and you cannot be caged. I don't know where this is from, but it sounds cool. Um, I'm just gonna droop you over here. And yeah, so the next thing is a bath bomb. Interesting. Um, I don't have a bath. So I tend to use these as like little, um, what is this? Like decorations for my bookcase until I get a bath. And this is supposed to be Zelly's magic bath bomb. <coughs> I just died a bit. And I can stand it up. So the perfect decoration. Apparently they were supposed to do two books in this one, which kind of makes me happy because I love it when um, Owl Crate does two books, because I then I just get like two for the price of one. All right, other than the fuzzies, the next thing I have in this, this out of print um, pin, and they are also the same people who did my Lord of the Rings, yeah, Lord of the Rings pin, which I have showcased with the rest of my pins. And they have this enamel pin where it says, when in doubt, go to the library which I think is hysterical. And so this is really cute and I'm in love with it. Peep. So yeah, here is the pin. I'm a beauty guru, guys. There it is. And it's glory. Um, the next thing I have is another pin and it says one L, oh God. Quan Elder Breathe Fire. I don't know what this is supposed to reference, but it's another pin, which makes me happy. And here's what it looks like. Looks like this. Or this. There we go. And next thing, I see the button. I see the button. I also see a bookmark. Oh, the fuzzy thing was supposed to go on here, but it got ripped off. I, I don't mind. Uh, the next thing is the button, and it's very very cute in my opinion it's very warrior like and next I have a bookmark on one side it says if I am marching to my death then I will march to it as a girl without fear and the other side is you are strong fierce capable beyond measure here's the first quote and here is the second quote so there is that um the first book in here is called catching stars by Kayla Keenan and this looks really fun. I love this matte. I love it when books have matte covers because they give me so much life. And oh, this is from Up Thomas. Um, Up Tomes, who is also a booktuber, and he released or he gave I will create New World Rising, and th that's so cool. Um, thanks, thanks, fam. So I'm very excited to read this. This looks really cool. And. If you do not know what Owl Crate is, Owl Crate, I knew it, I knew it, it was the book I thought it was. Um, next, we have this very awesome print of this person. And take two of what I was gonna say. If you do not know what Owl Crate is or what Owl Crate mainly features in their, um, what's it called? In their books or in their boxes, they mainly feature several things. One of them, is that they feature um, a letter from the author, which is here, and then they feature this, which is supposed to be like the newsletter, is supposed to be recapping everything. And usually they have like signed nameplates or they have um, other things in here. Owl Crate's doing a new thing where like they sign the book, which I think is cool. And this month's book is Sky in the Deep by Adrian. Yeah, Adrian Young. 
And this is supposed to be an Owl Creek exclusive cover, so let us see what the original cover looks like, if it's just a minor detail. Oh no! Oh, so apparently the original detailing has gold. And the owl gray one has a silver, and I highly prefer the silver one because that's a lot of yellow hues in there. And um, if you want to subscribe to the next owl crate box, then uh, next month's name is Summer Lovin', and you will also get some tea from from Riddle's Tea Shop. And they have again like put their tea in a box before. And I have had it and I have loved it and I highly re recommend their tea. Oh, here it is. Here's, oop, here's Breathe Fire, that pin from before. And it is signed by the author herself. So thank you so much, Adrian, for that. And yeah, it was Gillian. I make videos every single, every single Tuesday and Thursday on this channel. And I will see you guys next time. And today I have my June owl crate. You may be wondering why my box is funky. It's because lately in Illinois it has been raining. And I really hope that my products don't get damaged because of it. Especially since there is a book in here. So without further ado, let's get into it. First do we have the card. And it's supposed to be Summer Lovin'. And I'm actually liking this. I'm very excited to see what this is. Because it looks like a lot. So first we have the button and it is a ferris wheel but it slightly looks blurry so sorry. Um, next we have this. <gasps> it's a mug! Oh my god I really love it when Owl Crate sends mugs. Wait is this a mug? Is this a mason? <gasps> it's a mason jar mug. Oh my god. It says um, Owl Crate book warm and proud ever since two 2014. This is really cool. I really like mason jar mugs. I might not use this as a mug though. I might use it as like uh, maybe to hold stuff in. So I'm quite excited about that actually. So there is that. I really like this. I like this a lot. I really like it when Owl Creek sends mugs because then oh, I see the book. I see the book. I think because uh, if I didn't mention like beforehand uh, when I was away at college um, what's it called? The majority of my mugs broke, and the only mugs I had were the Owl Crate ones because I brought them. <gasps> it's a beach towel! Sorry, the only ones I brought were the Owl Crate ones, and those were the ones I had at college. Okay, back to that story later. But I got a beach towel! It says, My summer is called. My summer's all booked. Ha! <laughs> um, that's really funny. So here it is. I love this. I'm actually going to use this because I've been using the towel for work for like the past like three weeks now and I'm pretty sure I need to give it a wash so this is very nice that I have this. Um, the first thing I have is this bookmark and it's from Ink and Wonder and my problem with Ink and Wonder is that once you start using a bookmark often then it'll come apart so that's like my only downfall with that but anyway um it's from uh, Benjamin Alessand's book and it says summer was a book of hope and here it is and it's really pretty and yeah my only th I don't know if like any other of you guys have that problem with these kind of bookmarks I think it just got exposed to water and then it just kind of died so the next one I have is a cute little succulent pen that says sunny day on it and um what kind of oh it's a fine point it's a fine point I really like pens that have fine points like it makes me really happy and my pen recently that ran out that had a fine point on it died and now I have a new one uh, next I have a tea from Riddle's Tea House and Curiosity and this one is an Owl Crate exclusive called Apple Picking at Night I actually really like I had the tea that they had before that it was here and it was like blueberry and something and it's really good so let's open you this one is Apple Summer apple and peach tea. So let's see what you smell like. Wait, oh, they're in bags this time. Ooh, that's 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 a scent. I don't know how I feel about it, but that's a scent. I mean, I'll try it nonetheless. It has decaf, Ceylon tea, 
Rubio's tea, apple pieces, rose hips, hibiscus, natural vanilla flavor, natural apple flavor, cinnamon bark, and natural cinnamon flavor. And yeah. Um, it's weird because the last one was loose tea and this one is bagged, so I don't know. We'll see how that is. Owl Crate now does the thing where um, they now have an exclusive cover and they also have a newsletter that is currently wet. Um, so yeah. Um, I mean, I can't help it that it's wet, but you. And then usually what the author does is that they send um, a letter to the to the owl crater is what I'm gonna call it and yeah so this month's owl crate exclusive cover book is um from wrinkle with love by Sanha Sanha I'm so sorry Menin and this is the person who wrote when Dibble met Rishi and I think this is a completely separate book <gasps> and it's signed yes this is signed oh my god look at it it's signed I really did want to meet on Dimple Met Rishi for like the longest time I don't think that it, I think this is a completely separate novel but basically I think the premise around this one is that this girl goes to film school and she um goes to this festival and yeah so but then again this is a like i will create exclusive cover so i'm gonna quickly talk about that real quick um there also was another thing that was in there as well um if you already have the book you may already know the difference between it so this is the original it has like blue highlights and then the blue dress that she has um I don't know what the actual thing like dress in the Indian culture is called so if you want to comment down below what that is it's not a sorry I know that but I don't know what the Indian culture calls it if you are Indian know what it is comment down below please so I know um and then this is the regular and then this is the owl crate one where it has the blue streaks and then the yellow dress um oh and like the earrings are different too that's really weird um so yeah um so that was fun um i really like this one i like this one a lot um and if you want to oh i forgot the other thing that was meant that is in here is this keychain and it says from twinkle with love and that's what it is um i think i said a different title i don't know but yeah this is the keychain so yeah if you want to get owl crates next book the next one is strange and unusual and you get a official license item from Stranger Things and the thing with Stranger Things is that they don't really license their items to a lot of people and so the fact that Owl Cray got a hand of, the, of a Stranger Things item is really big because I know for a fact the only people who do get licensed Stranger Things stuff is Hot Topic. That I know of. So yeah, that is um, the June Owl Crate book for this month so be sure to like subscribe and comment down below um what was your favorite book that was mentioned in this triple owl crate unboxing and yeah my name is Gillian I make videos every single Tuesday and Thursday an update video is coming I I promise and yeah I will see you guys next time bye oh shoot hey guys it's me Alice Blanker and yes I'm incredibly tan but we'll just face it that I have a green, purple, and pink lamp on me. But anyway, today I have my July Owl Crate. And if you guys are wondering where the hell are the rest of the Owl Crate openings, that is because my lazy ass is keeps procrastinating to actually actually like edit them. And so over the course of like the next few months I'm gonna be editing several or like the next week or the rest of the month I will be um what's it called I will be editing oh my god um they read that their box um I will be editing several videos a handful of them should be owl crate videos so you will get like May owl crate or you'll get June owl crate um box within this month and that is because I keep forgetting to upload them to my Google Drive and then editing them when I can because 
I have a lot going on my plate right now, so yeah. They also redid the box, which kind of throws me off. Like, they have this now where it's like Facebook, Goodreads, YouTube, and Instagram. Not Twitter, though, surprisingly. And then they have, like, the guide to unboxing, and they have it, like, here, and usually they have it right there, or, like, behind here, but they decided to switch it up, so. Okay, so let's set down the box, and... The first thing we have is this, and I actually really like this. Like, they have Mary Shelley, they have Edgar Allan Poe, and then they have another guy in the middle. And I don't know who the other guy in the middle is, but nonetheless. Okay. Next, we have our favorite thing ever, which is fuzzies. I feel like they should just get rid of these because it's literally a pain in- <gasps> I just saw like 10 different things at once. Uh, it's literally like a pain in the ass to see, but nonetheless, still like it. So first we have this Owl Crate, like, school flag kind of a thing. I don't really know what, like, triangle flag? I don't know. I call it a school flag, but nonetheless. I'm actually seeing, like, a lot of stuff, and I'm actually in love with all of this so far. So first we have this, and... It says Stay Peculiar and it is from Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Um, if you have not read or seen my reviews, go watch them. I'll card them somewhere. But yeah, so this is cute. I like this. I don't know where I'm going to put it, but I'll put it somewhere. Uh, that's adorable. Next. Aww. Next, we have this really cute 11 fun Pop Funko. And oh my god, I always wanted an 11 Pop Funko, and now I have one. So that kind of makes me really, that, that makes me happy actually. Next, we have push pins of 8 bit skulls. I don't know if you can see them, but there they are. That's weird. Um, next, we have a. <laughs> we have Ouija board mitts. Um, they're actually called mystifying mints. That's actually kind of weird. But, uh... Oh my god, and like the mints are actually shaped like, like the Ouija board things. Oh, that is so cute. I love this. I actually really like this box. So it has like the actual Ouija board. Um, it's by... Boston America Corporation. Licensed by Hasbro, so... That's cool. I like this. I like this a lot. We have, what is this? <gasps> oh my god, is this a wallet? It's a wallet. Oh my god, that's amazing. I love this. Oh my god, so this is a wallet and it says the head is too wise, the heart is all fire. This is really cool. I fairly enjoy this. And like it has a little like keychain thing and it has like the owl crate owl on there, obviously. And then this is what the inside looks like. And it also has this flap, which I really like. And like this flap is literally like what I keep all my cards in. And I don't think this wallet will necessarily hold all the stuff that I need with inside my wallet. And I actually might make a what's in my bag video later on. But nonetheless, I do enjoy this a lot. When I saw it, I got really confused at first. I was like, what is this? But I do think this is really cool and I like it a lot. Oh look, more fuzzies. Oh, I found the button. And next we have our Owl Crate button and it has a skull on it. So that's nice. Uh, I'm really liking this box so far. Next we have a You're Just As Sane As I Am and it is a Luna Lovegood sticker and I really like this a lot. I actually might put this on my um, bullet journal because I got a new bullet journal this week. And ooh, this is cute. <gasps> oh, sweet baby Jesus, yes. Oh, I already saw the book and I'm already in love. Um, Next is this print of a whale, and it has like a whole bunch of books on it, and tea, and this is actually really cool, so I like this a lot. Again, if you are not subscribed to Owl Crate, usually what they do is now they have a little magazine that features everything, and then they also have a letter from the author, and this, like, I think they're going to continue with this year where they have, like, the author's, like, sign um 
have everything like be signed and stuff and what is this Ooh, ooh, this is weird okay so this month's book is my plain jane by the um laney janies and it is cynthia hand brody ashton and jody Meadows. and ironically um my fair my fair lady <laughs> my plain jane was oh my god no my my Lady Jane, there we go. My Lady Jane was actually um, featured in Owl Crate as well. Ah, and it's all signed! Ah. So this makes me really happy, actually. Um, basically, it is a retelling of Jane Eyre, I think. And um, yes, it is a retelling of Jane Eyre. And I actually really like this a lot. I kind of like the um little aesthetic that it has going for and this is the cover and then they obviously have like the letters from the authors i know like the original had like the blue and the yellow and this one ha has like the green and the purple and i actually kind of do like both because like maybe if um this was more like a retelling of like Mary Shelley I would definitely dig for this but nonetheless I'm actually very happy that I got this because I have been anticipating this for quite some time and next it came with this and it is a collection construction instructions and um it says, step one, grab your pen pencil crayons, lol, and decorate the interior and exterior of the hall. Oh. So it's more like a coloring kind of a thing. That makes sense. That's cool. So, like, this is what the outside looks like, and then this is what the inside looks like. I don't know. Yeah, there we go and that's pretty cool i like that and if you are interested and want to um what's it called and you want to subscribe to owl crate the next box is if i get it royal ruins and you get a exclusive item from craft crafted van and crafted van is actually a really cool bookmark place company bookmark company so yeah so yeah that is the june or july owl crate unboxing and i actually really like this box i didn't suspect it i didn't suspect my plain jane at all being the book because the um what's it called the shoot the theme is called strange and unusual and so i didn't suspect this book at all i don't think this book is strange and unusual i think this is more like a oh well she sees dead people and is looking for love in the wrong places well i guess that is kind of strange and unusual so yeah um be sure to like subscribe and comment down below um what are i can't speak because i'm so tired um What's it called? What have you read, my Lady Jane? Have you read my Plain Jane? And what are your thoughts on it? And yeah, my name is Gillian. I make videos every single Tuesday and Thursday, but I haven't been on of that because I'm an idiot. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye. This is Mail Squawker, and I have I had a haircut, so my hair is a bit shorter. But today I have my owl crate and um, if you guys have been wondering, yes, I know I am fairly behind when it comes out uploading owl crate videos. And so what I open it with this. What I decided to do is that um, I was gonna do it by summer. And so and so I'm gonna combine both my June, my July, and my August owl crate and just make it like one big 
summer owl crate video so that way I can just nail them out one by one by one and so that way you guys have a feeling of what not only one box looks like but what four three boxes look like instead and usually what you do for owl crate I will create is that you buy in like three boxes so this is what it is in total um I don't know the math but when I do I'll put it over here but yeah so without further ado let's get into it and so the first and our theme is ruthless royals and this has to be probably one of the most like extra cards I've seen in quite a while so first thing we have is the annoying fuzz Oh god. This is a compact! Look at her. Look at her! Oh my god, look. Yep, that's my phone. Oh my god, that is great! I have been needing, honestly, I've been needing a new compact for quite some time. So, yeah, and it comes in like this really cute, like, little pouch. So, awesome. There's that. I really don't know where to put it. But, this. I don't know what this is but I am very intrigued by it it's a little tin and it's oh okay there's two quotes the first one is I like for things to happen stories to unfold and if I can't find a good enough story I make one holly black and then the other side says I'm a mere mortal and you are a prince of fairy you have much to lose, and I have nothing Holly Black. So I think these are quotes from Cruel Prince. So then what's... Oh! Yeah, this is Cruel Prince. Um, it says, sharpen your blade, harden your heart. Um, I have that quote, actually. Where is it? I have it somewhere. Here it is. It's up there. You can't really see it, but it's up there. And it's just a little tin. Oh my god, I love this. I love having boxes. Yay, boxes! Next, is this is a ring. It's called Genuine Gaze. I really want to know what you want. If this is a ring, I'm gonna. <gasps> it's a ring. Oh my god. If you don't know me, don't know me personally. I am a sucker for stones, like a true sucker for stones. And the fact that this is here makes me very happy. So there is that. Um, and it's adjustable too, which also makes me very happy. So, this is what I need on like my clock ring because uh, the band became too small because I gained weight. And so now it's just overall hard to get out of. So, there is that. I don't normally wear a lot of the jewelry that gets sent to us us owl craters when it comes to it but this I could wear because it's not anything bookish it's not anything else but it is a very nice Ooh, what is this Ooh, it's, it's another tea towel um if you don't like if you haven't seen my room uh, you would know that I have another tea towel and that was from like a year ago, I think, now that I'm thinking about it. And um, it holds all of my owl crate buttons. So this should be interesting on where I can put this. So, and this is an owl crate exclusive. Okay, so it, oh, okay. It says she had often wished for adventure for old spells and Wicked King, Storm of Glass by Sarah Janess. And this is what it looks like. I might just keep it folded for now, and then once like I have a frame or like an open area, I might keep that there. So there's that. Um, next there is, you. No way! <laughs> okay, so at the end of the video, I was going to mention that I got a postcard from Jody Meadows. I got the same quote! So, I think that is hysterical. Oh my god, so now I can give one of these to my mom. And it said, I wanted freedom in the same way I wanted my next breath, an unspoken but constant desire. And that is a quote from Before She Ignites. 
uh, by Jody Meadows. And actually, that was an Owl Tree box not too long ago. And there's going to be a new one called As She Ascends. And it comes out September 11th. And I just think that's really funny how we both got the same quote, but in a different color. So I just think that's hysterical. Ooh. Okay. That's a very pretty book. I am very much in the love with it. Next! Okay. Next we have the button and it's just an evil queen and I am living for it because more Hufflepuff can I get? And yeah, I will see you guys next time.